everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, Deb Chanel's 48 Squirrel, where we talk about everything and we do reviews. But today, we're just going to have a conversation piece of a hot topic or any topics that I care to talk about at the time. The new segment is called, It's My Opinion. Deal with it. Okay, now let's start the conversation. First, I want to talk about an article that it really want an article of just somebody basing their opinions on T.I. T.I. done gone crazy again, okay? And he's on the airways trying to be a spokesperson for women, I guess. I don't know because I'm like, I'm still in the dark of how he can treat Tiny. Bless her soul. Having his children, being a good, faithful wife and then he just still wants to go out here and play with every little and every big toy that he can find in the women's department you see what i'm saying taking all these kind of racy photos with women and some have been a little tasteful but still it let some distance be let me see why i can see some space between you and a fan and not that you just holding a, a fruit cup and taking a picture. Now, I think that was kind of a little bit platonic. You know, it wasn't nothing really going on. Probably an a anxious fan or a fan of support just want to get a clip because it wasn't like you were uh, all hooked up on them or anything. And I mean, she was she was a nice looking lady. Don't see why you didn't try it, but maybe you just weren't in the mood at the time or that wasn't your cup of tea to be, uh, what do you call it, playing footsies with in a sense. But... I'm just here to talk about strictly him giving an opinion on a woman's prerogative. Okay? It's her prerogative, right? It's her priority. And her prerogative, like Bobby Brown said, to do what she want to do. She made this money. Uh, I said money. Uh, mommy didn't. I meant money. She made this money, not him. So she can do what she want to do. And if she wants to, meaning I'm referring to Rihanna, yes, Fendi girl, all right, doing her thing with that A rap. If she wants to do what she got to do, then she let, she let her do it. Okay? It ain't none of your business. All right? You can give your opinion just like I give mine. And that's why I'm coming in in the defense of Tiny for keeping up and fooling with your nonsense legislation having self because i don't even know why keisha lance bottoms would make me look at her sideways but sitting up here putting you as a spokesperson i'm like just because you're a rapper just because you can get down even though i like your earlier works the best because it showed you were in the grind you were really about the music and now you just want to be a somewhat political figure who sit around and cheat on his wife and and do all illicit type stuffs it, it just don't make no sense. You shouldn't be a spokesperson, but for your family. Making sure your females and your family are good as well as your males in your family. Because you always got an opinion. If the opinion don't stroke where you want it to be, then you got to have everybody help you boycott. Like, no, sit your little self down somewhere. Get in a corner and worry about doing for your family. And making your family be good and do good. Okay? Don't speak for the rest of us. Because most women who definitely hold down their men and are faithful to their men, we we respect, we expect the same thing. You do the same thing. Don't go around fooling half the time you've been with Tiny. You don't fool around her on her like Papa was Rolling Stone type of situation. That's the scenario you have given me. Ever since you have just dragged Tiny's name through the mud with all these illicit affairs from back in the day to up front and forward in our face, 2019, okay? I don't understand, but this really ain't too much about you. I'm just trying to get on Rihanna's boat and why you trying to bash her. You're bashing, you're bashing, you're bashing. It's like you just get a kick out of bashing women. Well, you ain't nothing but the opposite. You a garden tool on the man's list, okay? I don't like calling men dogs, not really. You know what I'm saying? Not in public anyway, and not on the tube. I may say it amongst people that I'm talking with that are not filming and all this kind of things. But I don't like it when men are called dogs, and I don't like when uh, men like to call uh, females itches. You see what I'm saying? Or oh, the word for a female dog. You know, so I don't like that. That's just too much. And I don't like when women use it because I'm not, I'm your friend. I'm your go-to. I'm your homegirl. But I'm definitely not a, uh, your 
guard to uh, your female dog. I'm, I'm not. Let's not even go there. I'd rather for you call me a female dog than the itch. Okay? Mm. Just my way of taking it. But getting back to the conversation that I'm trying to have and to voice my opinion on it, since it is my platform, I'm tired of T.I. going around here and talking about Rihanna should, she's a disgrace when it comes to a black men. I mean, a, a black women, because she's sitting up there dating an Arab. Okay, what, what if she was dating a Mexican? What if she was dating a, a Eskimo? Alaskan? What, what if she was dating a Native, Native American? What if she was dating a white man? Okay. Well, she dating an Asian man. What business has that got to do with yours? Because if my understanding, I'm probably thinking she probably dated her kind. I, I think she's Haitian. She probably dated a Haitian man. We know she was messing around with uh Chris Brown. He black as black, okay? And he might got a look because he light skin. He might got a little uh, European in him somewhere. We all have European come to think about it. You know what I'm saying? We go way back in the day when we talk about slavery and how that manifested itself, itself, that's why we got so many colors in the rainbow of the black Native American or, or, or the black African American. That's why we got so many shades of melatonin going around here, okay? Because then nobody want to stay in their culture, okay? But for you to go out and, and diss Rihanna and saying she shouldn't be dating no Arab and putting down black men, she don't have a black man. And, and she probably has several black men. She probably wasn't done right, okay? And who's to say when love comes to your door, it's going to be dressed in African-American, black, or Negro, or however you want to call um. The black race, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna stand your race if you don't want to. If love finds you with a Caucasian man, if a, a love finds her like her Arab man, then let love have its way, okay? I just need you to stop getting up for businesses. You don't like people in your business, especially when it came to that precious ordeal, and you call yourself getting down on TMZ when they uh put out precious um. Or uh, information, or, or that she had had cocaine in her system, or whatever. What that's precious business. You know what I'm saying? We all have business uh, that we don't want leaked out to the wrong people to make us look publicly humiliated. But that's what she may have done. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure if it was in her system, it was a true statement. And it's because you didn't denounce it, you didn't say. It uh, well, wasn't true. This, that, and the third. TMZ or any other other reputable, um, what do you call it, tabloid or a gallop costume or blog. They ain't going to be trying to report nothing that wasn't true, that they couldn't prove. You know, it's free. Um, what do you call it? It's, it's free when you go to the courthouse. It's public record. If you want to go and find out how somebody did this, how somebody did that, if it was court record and recorded, then it's public record. You can go get it. It's just uh, you're going to be that, you know, interested in somebody else's life that has nothing to do with yours. But most gossip columnists or, or blogs or, or, or media, uh, social media outlets, this is what drives them. Everybody wants to know about everybody's life. Not all of us, but some People, we may have a fancy to, you know, lend our ear a little harder when we hear something on somebody that we liked or didn't like or whatever. We're just trying to get the information and process it ourselves, okay, and then move on. But you, um, now when TMZ want to uh, talk about your career, a new album, or, or anything positive that you want them to report, oh, it's okay. I can get in there in front of the cameras and talk this, that, and the third. But when it's something that's going to put a little damper on your life in this, that, and the third, because who's to say? You may have exposed her to it, that, that life of living, that illicit drug use and, and, and all that stuff. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? This TV land, this reality land just takes you in a whole nother ball field where you can be exposed to certain things. You might dip and dab in it. It just is what it is. Just like people uh, drink alcohol or whatnot. Very, some very potent and then some that's probably ain't got but a little or no alcohol in it. You know, and then you might be taking blood pressure medicine, heart medicine or um, cholesterol medicine and it might interact. Hell, it tells you that on all medications you shouldn't be drinking alcohol but as humans we do it we tip tip the scale and just see what's gonna happen we just keep pushing it keep pushing the boundaries and whatever but when they pour that stuff on you your sister uh had this uh illicit drug in her sister oh you just went ballistic and wanted everybody to just drop what they were doing to support you but it's like, okay where are you when other things pop off uh black lives matter 
or, you know, these women and this trafficking of these kids and all this other stuff. Are you out there constantly? You know, or what are you doing? You just want to stay in the public view when it's good for you. And, and, and when it hurts you, you want to go out the public view? No, that's not how it works. If you're trying to get on Harvey Levin, talking about he don't broke all bridges, this, that, and third, and all that, how much stuff did he probably uh held out on you? Okay? Just at his eating table. Because what he did, basically, he didn't really give you a really heartfelt apology. No, honey, he still broke that story on your sister and her cocaine use usage that was found in her system then when you went and acted a fool on social media telling everybody to drop what they doing let's boycott tmz let's not do it. uh uh why are we gonna boycott it you can't let that's see that's working with the devil right there you can't break bread with somebody and then think they're gonna just totally disregard anything that may happen in your life and that is not newsworthy oh no 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 you dance with the devil you got to pay the piper okay he did some good reporting for you when you were doing all this other stuff, positive in the community or whatnot, breaking out new music, breaking out new artists. But then, yeah, the sword turns. It's a double-edged sword. When you fuck with the devil, yes, it is. It's a double-edged sword. So you got to take it and get it. Take it, get it, receive it, take it, get it. It just goes back and forth like a ping pong ball. Okay? So I was just too much. Instead of you just letting whatever TMZ had to say, just let it ride. You know what I'm saying? Because is he giving truth in that story? I'm pretty sure he was because, like I said, you didn't debunk it. You didn't just say, no, that's not true. I'm going to sue you or something to that de that degree. So we all, with ears to hear and eyes to see, we knew what was going on. Okay? You just felt that you had did so much for work for them in the past and given them, you know, information to talk about because you're somewhat a music celebrity in the rapping field, okay? But you don't really speak for nobody but yourself if you really get down to it or the clones and, and people that follow you, your yes people. But, you know, I'm like, come on, stop it. Sit down. Let bad press hit you. Let good press hit you. And don't say nothing, especially if you know it's true. All right. I'm just saying you just went too far. You went overboard with the stuff. Because definitely when you're sitting over there cheating on your wife and then all these Bernice Burgos and all these other little people coming up and these new artists that you got taking all these racy looking pictures with and stuff, you know, saying she's your own artist, you're forming her. Then you need to get a, a, a female PA person to help be in those pictures with y'all because, you know, it just, you know, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look kosher. Not for one who takes marriage very seriously and, and take the fundamentals of the importance of marriage, living a good marriage and, you know, being supportive and supporting your family. You you may kind of look like a fool, you look like every other day when you come out and make yourself look stupid. Or like get in your own house, take care of all the mishaps and get your house clean before you try to go talk about somebody else's house. You know what I'm saying? Trying to go in on Miss Rihanna when she's doing her thing. She's single. She what, what is she doing? Other than maybe coming in for education as a scene. It depends on what religion or do you even practice spirituality in religion field that uh, denounce having sex before marriage. Okay. But she ain't got no family. She ain't got no kids. She ain't got none of that. She just living her life, okay? And let the cards play out when her judgment day comes, all right? But you ain't got no business up in Rihanna's business, personal business, saying who she should date and who she shouldn't date. If she don't want to date a black man, then she ain't got to date a black man. If she happy, content, and living her best life with that Arab man, more power to her. Kudos to you, Rihanna. Get your life, girl. Get your life, get your money, and do what you want to do, okay? Just keep it cool when it comes to your judgment time, all right? But that's all I got to say. T.I. fall back. Get in your life, your lane, and stay there. Make Miss Tiny happy because she's the queen of most queens out there, okay? You'll never hear nothing on her. I don't think you could say she out there trying to do her thing, in the music world, trying to raise her family and do the right thing when it comes to her marriage. But you, on the other hand, you want to rip that apart. And then when everything ain't going your way, ooh, let me go back to why day one, my real ride or die chick, poor Tiny. I don't think I said present blessings go up to Tiny and her family, excluding T.I., until he get his act together. Because why he worried about every other woman out here doing the darn thing, he need to be worried about Tiny 
and Miss Aris. Ain't she the cute little thing you seen in Brooklyn? Is out there, uh, Kenya Moore's daughter. I mean, she's got too many cute uh, women, little girls growing up. And they need their fathers in their life to show respect, honor, and praise their mothers instead of doing bad things to their mothers, hurting their hearts, hurting their, their mental stability. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I need T.I. to do. So anybody put the, t t the video on T.I., they need to go all tell him. Let's boycott T.I. until he do right by his wife and his family. Okay? That's what my deal is. That's my opinion. And it's free of charge. Okay? But that's all I got to say. Rihanna, do your thing, girl. Do you. Be you. Be great and go forth. And whatever T.I. is saying. Just take it like just like a hard drink that you love, okay? And put some chaser in it and turn it up and shit it out. That's all I got to say, people. Keep it crazy, as my daughter say. Blessings. Bye-bye.